What's up guys, Sam Antini here. All right, I have a special a video for you guys today and a special announcement. For those of you that watched last week's video, thank you, I appreciate it. I know it's not typical to watch a 55 minute beer league game, but for those of you that watched the whole thing, thank you. And guess what? I am doing the draw. If you don't know what draw I'm talking about, it's because you didn't watch the full video last week. At the end of it, I announced that for anybody who watched the full video as a thank you because of how much work I put into it, I wanted to do like a surprise giveaway. So all they had to do was send me a direct message on Instagram or on Facebook and they were officially entered to win either a hat or a t-shirt. So if you didn't watch the full video, I'm sorry, it's too late to enter. Um, but I just wanna say, please make sure to watch the whole videos because you never know when I'm gonna do these little surprise giveaways. I wanna do them more often, so please watch the whole video so that you don't miss out on them because I would hate for you to send me a message saying, I didn't know you were doing it, um, please can I enter now? And unfortunately, you can't. So moving forward, just watch the whole videos. I'm gonna do these more often. And that's pretty much it. Also, this video right now is just a scrimmage, but I share a lot of good tactics on how to do certain things when playing. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did when I made it. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the ice. I almost forgot to actually pick the winner. So what I'm gonna do right now is throw all the names on a website called miniwebtool.com, and what you can do is just drop all the names in there and then press a button and it picks a winner. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right guys, so as you can see, I am using miniwebtool.com, random name picker. I entered all the names in here. There's about 44 people who actually watched the full video, so thank you so much. And all I have to do is pick a random name here and it will pop up. So here goes it for the winner of the hat or the t-shirt. Let's see what happens. And the winner is Alyssa. Alyssa Grover. All right, so Alyssa, congratulations. Thank you for entering. And for everybody who watched the whole video, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna be doing more of these, so make sure you guys continue to watch the full videos when I post them, is if you wanna win like a t-shirt or a hat, um, because I like this. This was fun, and it was great to communicate and talk with the people who did send me those direct messages. So thank you guys so much, and enjoy the game. I'll see you on the ice. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a scrimmage. Uh, somebody asked me how to do butterfly slides. I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do it while I'm playing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. The key to a butterfly slide is getting a good push with whatever leg is not gonna be stopping the puck. All right, I think I have a second here. So basically the trick is, once you're down in the butterfly, start rotating to where the puck is gonna be or where you need to go. Get your leg up as high as you can and try to use your whole blade of your skate on this side and just push. And as you're pushing, one thing to keep in mind is try to force this leg out far as possible. That's, way, that's how you're gonna make those toe saves when the puck is really going to the corner. So push and like extend your back leg. So I get a lot of comments that say, oh, you need defense, you need defense on your team. And yes, maybe my D could step up a bit. But when you play shinny, there's like no D really. So it gets me, my games get me ready for shinny. All right, on that goal, guys, 
I mean, he's wide open back door. I was going for the pass. Not much I can do on that one. Nobody covering him. He's, he's got open net. Oh, that was me. All right, on that goal there, it definitely was all me. I was out of position. I think I stopped moving left as he was going right. And I think I misjudged his uh, shooting capabilities and he just put a top corner glove side. Shinnies are really good for practicing new ideas, new techniques, things that maybe you're really not good on, but it's also very good to build up your stamina. Back door, back door. Now the reason why I just stayed standing, woo! I stayed standing in that shot, cause the angle, like he really was like here, and there's no way he could pick anything from that angle. So I just stood up, covered the net. Cause the thing too is sometimes we go down too much and when you go down, you actually open up holes. Whereas a lot of the times if you just stay standing, Literally, there's not many holes unless he can like somehow feed it through my legs. But like realistically, that's gonna do better than me coming out a little further, dropping down to my knees, opening up my five hole. <laughs> One thing I know I need to improve on is when the puck's behind the net and I'm down. All right, when this game is done, I'll do a proper breakdown of the butterfly slide. I'll do it so you could actually see the front of me because I just want to make sure that I have explained it properly. All right, three, three. So the guy that just scored, his name's Carl. He's very competitive and he loves scoring. And he typically goes five hole for majority of a scrimmage. And if it's just not working for him, then he'll switch it up. I was really expecting five hole or glove. So good shot on him. On that one, he just had more patience than I did. I went down, I was out, and he just kept going over until the net was open, and he put it in. Now it's 4-3, five minutes left. Pretty good game. Yeah, 4-4. I didn't think this game was gonna get to five goals, but next goal wins, so see what happens. Posted in, good goal. I think I was in position, but he just beat me. It felt like uh, the other team got some steam near the end there. They got a couple goals and they got some energy and then just put a couple more past me. Oh, 
that was an easy goal to stop. What I did was I rotated as I made the save or tried to. I hit my glove and went in, but I kind of did this. What I should do in the future, and it's something again that's built by habit, is glove or blocker save. You want to lean, you want to lean into it. If I didn't turn and I leaned into it, it probably would have hit me and bounced into the corner. A couple weekends ago, I played shinny and I was a player. And I grossly underestimated how hard it is to be a player when it comes to skating. I have to admit. Where is it? <laughs> Now any fellow goalies out there, if you have the chance, definitely try being a player if you haven't before. I've never been a player, only when I was like five. And that's when I was learning how to skate and then I turned into a goalie and I never looked back. It just gives you a really good perspective of what your players are doing for you. And uh, sometimes when you see them not skating as hard as you think they should be, it's probably because they are actually tired, not because they're being lazy. It's a good lesson to take off the ice. Like, even in life, you don't know what the other person's shoes are like to wear until you wear them. All right, we got this 4-2, we can get it. He kicked it in. Kick. 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 We're not playing soccer. So on that goal there, which wasn't a goal, we called it back. I think it was pretty clear he kicked my leg. And then that's what resulted in the puck going in. So we called that no goal. 4-3. Now it's 4-3. That's how quickly games can change. Nice track. I was fixing the net when Dotto came. I wasn't even ready. So if they're gonna count it, then the game's over. We lost 5-3. If not, we're still forcing, forcing a tie here. Trying to get 4-4. Four, four. When you're exhausted, if you practice doing the fundamentals, that's when it, you develop the habits because your habits are revealed when you're exhausted. So if you're exhausted and you work on good habits, then when you're exhausted during a game, you're gonna use good judgment to stop the puck. So keep that in mind. It's not an excuse if you're tired. It's a choice and you could choose to keep working hard or just to give in and say, yeah, it was just, I was tired, whatever. That's the easy thing to do. So I'm still gonna try hard. I'm actually gonna try as hard as I can right now. We got a breakaway coming up. Rather than showing the replay, I'm gonna show what to do. So he came across and I went down to cover five hole. And when he shot, I went like this. See how my upper body is opening up the net? If I just went like this, I probably would have a way better chance at stopping the puck. So, keep that in mind. Try not to do that. 
try to do that. Oh. Oh. So what I'm noticing right now in the in the most the end minutes of this game, I'm going down too early. I'm not being patient. I'm going down just thinking, well, I'll cover the bottom of the net and hope to save it if it goes up high. And they're just waiting me out. Like on that last goal, if I stayed up just a little bit longer, he probably would have shot it or he would have kept holding it and I would just have to continue to stay up. So I watched my first ever video that I posted today. It's pretty funny. The first video I posted, I actually didn't talk because I didn't have my helmet cam, but what I did instead was actually a voiceover. So why am I making these videos? Well, it's quite simple. The best way to get better is to know what you were doing right and what you were doing wrong. And what better way to see what you were doing than to film yourself every time you were on the ice. So I decided to throw my GoPro up on the glass behind me to get a better view of what I am doing. And after watching some footage, I figured I should share what I am learning with you guys and hopefully you too can learn something. And I remember making that video and I was so worried about sounding stupid that I recorded that voiceover like five, ten times. And eventually I was just like, you know what? Who cares? It's my first video. It doesn't need to be perfect. And when I look at it now, I just laugh. Is that crossbar? All right, guys, so if you couldn't see when I was doing it in the net, basically to do a butterfly slide, hunt your down in your butterfly. Say the puck's coming to my right. What you want to do is as you're rotating, but it's important to rotate so that you're facing the puck. If you're lifting the leg up that you need to push with, the closer you can get it into your body and get your full blade on the ice, the more power you will have in that push. And then you want to lean that way and you want to lean your body so that you have more chance at making that save. So I'm going to back up because I don't know how much view you have. So basically, if I made a save like this, and the rebound went there, I'm going to rotate with this leg up, push over, and just like that. And same thing on this side. So make sure you lean with your stick as well because you don't want to have that puck up to your five ball. I'm going to rotate. Okay, I'm still covering the five ball, and I'm going to bring my leg in. And as I push, push my, out, my skate out as well. And that will help you get those like toe saves if the guy's gonna shoot it on the corner. So, so again, I made the save, rebound, rotate, stick in the middle, push, and flare out your legs as much as you can. So if you have time, just make sure to practice. In my warm up, this is what I do. And that warms up my leg, and helps me remember where to put my hands. So, I mean, this hurts after a long shitty, but that's how you do a butterfly slide. And also keep your chest up so you cover and protect the top of the net. Alright guys, if you haven't yet, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the ice next week.